the finale of the 2011 adaptation made from the previous show, of course, the Night show, and Togashi's manga, Hunter x Hunter 2011, is officially over 148 episodes of absolute brilliance. And I absolutely love this finale because when Gon was climbing up the tree, he was thinking about his whole past experiences, his whole journey to have his different friends. He met like Palm, the octopus, the chimera ants, where Jeremy Nitro also kill you while gone. And like, oh god, what am I saying? Kill Pika. Everybody has including himself, how he had so much fun in the journey and it's absolutely tear dropping. For me, I felt, a little, I felt a little emotional. It's a bad to say that I felt a flipping emotional during watching this finale because I was I absolutely loved. I know not that the super mega best finale, but it was also interesting when we also found out why Jing himself became a hunter. So he became a hunter because he wanted to explore this tomb, whatever. He found the secret of the tomb. I wish I knew what the secret of the tomb was, but that really didn't matter because it also mattered about the journey he did, about the people he met when he was age 13, he had to find basically 10 people he could trust with the secret of the tomb, who was able to help fund him, teach him about these things, and you know, as he got on the journey, he really didn't care about the like the secret himself, he cared about it, he didn't care as much about the journey of his like, chair, his friends, and like, his chairmen, you know, people he's bond with for the past few years, of course he was a little bit older and more matured. And also Gong learned about, you know, it's not the matter of the journey of finding his father, like, it was not a matter of actually finding, like, Jing or his father, that's why he went to become a hunter to find his father, it was absolutely about the journey, the friends he made, the battles that he fought, it was absolutely just emotional and amazing as well how they put that part, and also, Jing explained that, there also the another reason he wants to become a hunter, in the future what he wants to do, he says, he wants to go for things he can't see in front of him, which means he wants to go to, like, explore the entire world, with different worlds, with the like, chimera ants, were obviously not part of this world, so they were like, ants versus ants fused with humans are really powerful. Even freaking the strongest of Medium was basically more powerful than the chairman himself. Like, literally, the chairman did everything he could and he couldn't defeat him. Maybe even Natura was in his prime, he could have defeated or possibly increased over him defeating him without having to use, like, you know, like the bomb or whatever, the little rose, whatever you had to use to obviously, you know, defeat him by suicide or whatever. So basically, also, what else was just like, you know, how the commander's from a different world and when, you know, he wants to go explore that world, he wants to go explore land, you know, he's saying that if our paths do meet, you know, hopefully you enjoy a little detour because it's the journey that matters, not the actual destination. I've heard the same before and I was like, I never thought about it, but then as I grow up in my life, I realized that. The goal doesn't matter, it's the journey, the little detours, have a little fun in the detours because that's what's going to matter in the end, just like your journey, the story that you can absolutely just say to your children or to your friends that you know, I did this journey, how I got to my goal. It actually taught me a little life lesson in there, but oh, I was just so sad because when they're laughing, telling the story to each other, also you can hear Gon say about the whole gate, the Zodiac gate, you know, how everyone had to push to open, like, push to open the gate and everything, you can hear how Jing was saying about the little, like, box he found, had another one of the size, probably like, the secret of the tomb he's talking about, whole, like, the birds were there, like, you know, the mother was feeding the child, and how Gon could see the whole, like, you know, he could see, like, you know, his journey is not over. You can definitely see the dark content arc, and also what surprised me the most was the tree. The tallest tree in the world, at 1,784 meters, is one of the smallest one, the shorter one, compared to that world full of, like, maybe like 3,000, maybe even more than 5,000 feet meters. That, that's, that's amazing. I want to see that new world, the dark content arc, is which the manga is, so I believe if you're going to read the manga, I believe it's after chapter 3, I'm going to start from chapter 380, 338 and catch up all the way because Takashi is like in hiatus, but the hiatus it does give you a little bit of a chance to you know catch up to the manga so when it does make it, you're all caught up and you don't need to have to read the manga because I'm so glad Takashi's on a little hiatus, Dragon Quest, back, hey, whatever the issue is, this hiatus gives me the chance to actually read the manga and it was absolutely emotional. Towards the end when they played Departure, I was singing to the song. I swear to you, I was singing to the song as I had like many like tears come through. And I didn't have tears in my eyes, but I was like, I was going to get tears in my eyes because of how brilliant this show was. I remember like binge watching this for the first time. I remember I watched the show, I believe, in the summer. So the ending of summer, so in August when I was in my previous house, I remember watching it all night up to like 5 a.m. in the morning. Like when I watched episode 1, I was like, eh, it's okay. When I went to episode 10, I was like, okay, it's getting good. Episode 20, oh lord, where's this? Like episode 40, 50, 60. Until I was like, I couldn't stop watching it. Even when I started school, I kept watching a lot just to catch up and eventually I caught up and now I'm here. Like the end of the show, like maybe two years from now, maybe in 2016, the end of 2016, maybe they'll do like, you know, 
it will return back. And for the love of please, why is it? But for the love of pleasers of God, why is this show not like freaking out? What's it called? Purchase? Why is the show not licensed yet? Come on, our Sentai film or anybody, please just purchase a show. Like Madhouse did a brilliant job. I want to actually have physical copies of Hunter and Hunter in my if I could point properly in my shelf right back there. I will personally make a dedicated shelf for Hunter and Hunter movies, films, whatever. Why is it like the last mission, the movie, or the latest movie, or the Phantom Rogue now on Blu-ray? I, I don't know if it's on Blu-ray or whatever. I'll, maybe I'll switch up later. Why is movies on Blu-ray? Like, come on now, anybody, please, Anaplex. I don't mind. I don't mind if Anaplex does it. Personally, they're overpriced a little bit, but what can you do, right? That's Anaplex for you. That's a business. Moreover, I love this finale as well. I wish Kurpika actually picked up the phone. I was like, come on, man, let them go for one minute, second. But he got up the chair. Now I heard that it takes he got up the chair two years later, or maybe he got up the chair maybe a few mo moments later. We did get a glimpse of him. I was correct. I was talking to a friend on Twitter, you know, saying that she might we might get a glimpse. I told her we might get a glimpse of Kyopika. I knew it right also the other where everyone has got the picture, we're palm, the octopus, we're cold, where you know the guys, you know, uh knuckle uh I can't remember the uh, the guy with the pipe. I, I wish I could remember his name, dude, but and they're doing a little bet of like who would come to you know NGL and they're like doing they're paying the money like a million or a hundred thousand like you know you know so they're having wine you know I will have to like get drunk whatever just to forget this and they actually did it towards the end I'm I'm glad I'm glad they didn't forget that that was a little moment that I really did love in this finale this finale was just it was very emotional for me because as a person who binge watched it for like me like twenty episodes like a day maybe twenty five episodes in one sitting this show is definitely gonna be hard to let go. When I come out the manga, it's gonna be hard to let go. It's manga in the weekend. I am literally just gonna stay up most of the night just reading it. Homework assignments all finished. Gonna read this. No, no turn back. No, no nothing. No Facebook. No Twitter. No social. I'm I'm gone for social media, dude. Once I catch once I catch up this manga, dude. It's gonna be absolutely brilliant. So let me know what you guys thought of this finale of Hunter and Hunter. Do you think the show will come back in two years? Let's hopefully Tagashi gets out of the What do you think of the whole hired situation? Are you reading the manga or are you not reading the manga? My name is Pazman RPG and I'll see you guys later. Farewell.